Right, I promised you an introductory video to my electric vehicle. Well, I was camera shy, so this morning I thought, stuff it, go for it, and that's what I'm doing. Okay, now, um, what's my electric vehicle going to be like? Mm, good question. Well, it's going to be unique in its power plants. There's going to be two power plants. Um, I'll show you the motors later. Um, it's going to have a um, Dutton Sports Car body, uh, which you'll see also later on in uh, the introduction. Uh, also, um, I've had a great deal of help from lots of people on YouTube. Um, my main mentor, if you like, um, was T-Man, T-Man Go-Karts. His link's down below. Um, and I'll put a few others down there as well. Um, I'm building this in a way that anybody can build it. Uh, they can use things that are all around them. Um, for example, you'll need um, washing machines, you'll need microwaves, you'll need um, stereos, um, basically anything that's electronic and electrical. Um, if you know a builder who uses a lot of that um, silicon sealant or cork, you're going to need the empty tubes. So clobber him and say, don't throw them away into landfill. Let me have them because I can make use of them. Okay? Um, also, the, the main chassis uh, support for the car is going to be timber. Don't panic. Don't panic. The timber is going to be laminated for strength. Okay. Uh, I'm also working on a glue that is uh, really cheap but acts like super glue. I hope. Well, that's what I'm finding out on uh, YouTube anyway. Um, I find a lot of people making the glue but nobody showing an application. So um, there will be some tests on uh, the glue um, with different types of um, timber construction. Um, also, um, I'm trying to keep the welding down to a bare minimum and the use of steel down to a bare minimum because I know that not everybody um, for this project would be able to afford a welder. Um, but you'll be shown how to make a welder using a microwave and um, you'll be shown how to make um, a milling tool um, well more like a, a milling bed um, got one here that I, well this is the prototype and if I can get it <clears throat> not bolted down yet but you get the gist turn the handle the bed goes backwards or forwards and that is anchored to a pillar drill um, if you haven't got a pillar drill then it will also work with um, one of those stands that you put your electric drill into and clamp it in position um, and you can just drop it down to where it is, lock it off and then run the bed backwards and forwards to do the cut. Um, that's going to be mainly used for putting the keyways in the shafts of the motors because um, the pulleys that are on there, from what I can gather, are really heated up and then put over a cold shaft which is shrunk and then as the 
hopefully it cools and the shaft warms up, it clamps it down tight. Well, that's no good to us. Um, we want something where we can put a ch uh, bike chain on. Oh, and bikes. We will be using bicycle wheels, bicycle chain, bicycle... Um, no, I don't think we'll be using bicycle brakes. Just had an idea. I think we'll use a car disc brake. Yeah. Because the target speed is 60 miles an hour. Um, we really want to be able to stop at that speed. Um, distance. Well, target is as far as possible, obviously. But if I can do 100 miles on one charge, I will be very happy. But there will be um, generators on board. There will be solar panels on board. Um, there's going to be a, a wind turbine on board. And we'll also be looking into regenerative braking, that sort of thing. Um, I think the build hasn't really got a time limit for the simple reason I am getting um, items off uh, a website over in the UK here called Free Cycle and that's where people have say a radio and they don't want to throw it into landfill they want someone else to get the use of it whether it be a fully working one where they can listen to it or a broken one where they can use the electronics in it like we're going to be doing okay where possible we'll be using um, everything that we built we will be making printed circuit boards we'll be um, designing and building our flasher units um, we'll be building our own um, well microwave welders um, we'll be building our own wind turbines and you've got to think hang on wind turbine big propeller on car how is that going to work it ain't it's going to be um, no propeller it's going to be a Pelton wheel but we're not going to be buying a Pelton wheel we should be making one out of things around us. Um, insulation and soundproofing. Hmm. Yep, got that as well for free. Um, I hope that people will look at this project and think, what can I say or do to help? Not criticise all that and never work. Because I always come back with the same thing. When someone says to me, it'll never work. I say, right brothers, that'll never fly. And what are we doing today? Hmm, flying all around the world. I believe that... If you can think of it, it is possible. If it's possible, it's doable. If it's doable, we can build it. If we can build it, we can certainly get all the bugs out of it and make it work. It may take a day, a year, 10 years, 20 years. But I believe we will get there in the end. So, if there's any of you watching this series of videos and thinking, what an idiot, I'm going to tell him what I think of him, don't bother. Because it'll be read. And like sound you don't want to know, it'll go in there and straight out the back. Now, if you're going to help, fantastic absolutely brilliant because I will take every bit of help on board as I have been doing and I want to be able 
to build a project that little Joey, eight years old, can build with his family. It's a family thing. I haven't got a family here, I'm on my own. But that's not the point. The point is, I am doing this so a family or a group of friends working together can achieve an ultimate goal. An electric car that costs very, very little. Because you've only got to go out into the countryside. You'll see bikes dumped. You'll see stereos dumped. You'll see microwaves dumped. You'll see washing machines dumped. And if you can take them home and use them in the car or for any other project, you're saving your services the time, money and effort to go out after it's been reported, pick it up, drag it all the way back to landfill and dump it. So you're not only helping yourself, your family and your friends, you're helping your community by keeping the sides of the roads nice and clean. Uh, I won't labour anymore. I'll uh, put, sort this video out, put it up on the uh, YouTube net and uh, see what you guys think. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to start a car. Ciao for now. Washing machine. Microwave, stereo, vacuum cleaners, printers, televisions, old and new.